In today's episode, we're turning this to this. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. The previous episode, I don't know if you've seen it all the way till the end, you'll notice that there was no ending from my end. I didn't come and I didn't say, hey, if you like what you see, please subscribe and the whole yalla and the hand kind of thing. I do believe I owe you an explanation. Let's talk about that. Last video. Last video was shot in practically two days. It's the first day when I went to the record and actually got the parts that I needed. The second day is when I've started the paint process and I even replaced the seats, which I haven't showed that uh, to you guys in the previous episode. We'll show it in this episode as well. So yeah, spoiler alert, we ended up buying those chairs or those seats. <laughs> Basically, it was just a, it was a good deal, a deal not to be missed. So I had to grab it. They were like 50 bucks a pop. So that's $100 for both seats, so I just got them, minus one. What happened is, last week, while I was actually working on it, uh, I had the door open, and I needed to reach to the impact uh, driver because it was on the floor, and I needed to reach it out in order to remove the bolts for the old seats. As the door was open and the window was all the way up, on my way reaching down, I bumped my head, my forehead to be exact, in the corner of the window. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Let me just grab the camera so that I can show you what I'm talking about. So, this corner, can you see? Yep, this corner. So the door was open, uh, the impact driver was on the floor, I went to reach and bam, it did hit. Uh, let me just put the camera back on. As a result of that, I had a gash in my head and that required two, ch two stitches to fix it up. And can you see? Yep, there you go. So I've got this abandoned. Well, today basically I just went to medical center and I got the stitches removed. So hopefully everything is alright. Sorry about the whole uh, talk. I just thought like I owe you guys an explanation just so that you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that's why I didn't show myself as much. That's why I probably you see I haven't even shaved. I haven't done anything because the doctor practically said no water, no nothing. So you gotta have to be mindful of that. Uh, which I was good, abiding, patient. Yeah, no. Anyways, so we got that out of the way, and now I think it's back on track. Sucks that the weather is raining. Uh, Sydney's been hit with the uh, rainstorm for the past week and expected to last for the other following week, which means technically we can't do anything outside. All what we can do is practically inside here, inside our tiny little garage. Uh, in terms of paint, uh, I don't think I'll be able to paint the roof because it's a big uh, panel per se. That requires a lot of maneuvering, a lot of logistical work around it. So I don't think I'll be able to do that. On a separate note, if you can see, I've got the bumper uh, cleaned up, wet sanded, and hopefully it should be ready for paint. Now, just so that you know, when you paint something, it's always good to have the weather, good conditions for paint. Meaning, if it's too cold, the paint would not dry properly. And keep in mind, we're not doing one stage paint. Meaning, we're not doing the paint, which is the base coat and the clear coat in one go. It's base coat, and after that, you're applying the clear coat. Which means you gotta have to rely on the fact that they adhere properly and they dry, or the flash, as they call it, the flashed properly. If it's cold, that's not going to happen, and what will happen is when you apply the clear coat on top of the base coat, they'll mix up and they'll start to run, and that's going to create a nightmare. Sydney, for those who live outside Australia, just so you know, when it rains, it doesn't necessarily mean it's cold. Like now, it's been raining for the past week, literally day and night, rain. I feel like I'm swimming to work and back, but temperature-wise, it's 25. 24 degrees, not F, 
Uh, yeah, Fahrenheit. Yeah, yeah. So degrees. That's like a lot. So it's not bad to do the paint. Now, as long as we're doing the paint inside the garage, which is sealed and protected from the element, we should not have any problem. Hopefully. Now. As you can clearly tell, it's raining. I even put plastic thing in order to cover up the hood vents in the car because I don't want the water to get inside. Which, come to think about it, it might not be a good idea. Eh, oh well, if it happens, it happens. I don't care. There you go. This is the WRX bucket seat. Both of them in perfect condition except for this one has a small tear. Apart from that, they're just dirty. Yeah, it, I mean, you've seen the car. If you've seen me and my previous video, definitely you would have seen the car condition that we saw. So I'm happy that we got it. I've installed it, everything is perfect. It ain't going nowhere. We just need to clean it up and move on to the next thing. Let me just to set the scene for you guys over here because the plan is I need to show you exactly what we've done over here. Then after that, we need to probably paint. But in simple words, wet sanded. See, even this area, see? There was a small damage, wet sanded. Now it's so smooth to touch and everything. And this is, this is basically the bottom of the uh, bumper, you see? all wet sanded and cleaned so all the paint that you'll see now on the uh, on the bumper this one is not chipped not damaged not nothing which means i can easily paint on top of it uh, in terms of the paint here's what you need to know when you buy a brand new bumper oem bumper from the factory it comes standard black which means just plain plastic what you need to do in order to paint it, after you clean it, you need to wet sand it, you need to use primer. Not just any primer, there's a specific primer, which is, let me just show you. There it is. What does this one say? Car color. Can you read? Yeah, plastic trim primer. So you apply this one on top of it, top of the plastic. Why? Because this is plastic. If you apply normal paint on top of it, it's not going to adhere properly. So what you need, you need a layer between. The plastic primer sticks to the plastic well. Not only that, the surface, once it's painted, is good enough for the normal paint to adhere to. That's why you need that. But and that's a big but. If you already have paint applied properly, and this is OEM, this is from the factory, this is the painter, so they know what they're doing, okay? All what you need to do is just simply wet sand this area to make it rough a bit for the paint. I don't know if you can hear the raindrops. I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, back to this. So, because it's painted, I can apply a normal paint on top of it. All what I need to do is just sand it to make it rough a bit for the paint to stick to. So, for example, if I decided to paint this plastic thing with the same color, blue, then this one needs to have the primer. This one does not. Wet sand, make it rough, then you can apply the paint on top of it, then after that the clear coat. This is what I've, tol I've been told by YouTube, okay? so. Yeah, uh, they should be right, right? I suppose. Anyways, enough chit chat. Let's set things up and put things in motion, okay? As you can see, still raining. I had to remove the car downstairs to avoid the being exposed to the rain and everything. That means I've got the whole garage all to myself. As you can see, I've got the front bumper lined up and masked up all the black areas that I want to keep in black I've masked them all up everything is perfect and these are the pieces that I'd like to paint as well front hood vents fog light bezel and the front grill all of them masked up as they should and I even applied the plastic primer remember earlier 
talk to you about this one. There you go, plastic trim primer. Finally, it's actually clear. Like it doesn't actually have any color. It's clear coat, as if it's a clear coat. So, wax grease removed all the gunk, the dirt and everything. Then applied a quick spray of primer on top. Now, uh, because I've tried it, I think I know how does it work. It's not your typical paint when, when you apply it, basically it stays dry. It, like, whilst it does dry, it gives that uh, look as if it's a glue, in a way. So sticky-ish, that allows the paint when you apply it to basically stick on it. I'll mix the paint and I'll give it a shot. I've lined them all up in a certain position where I can reach out on both sides, as you can clearly see. Let's hope we can get it sorted out. Whilst it's raining outside, and it's been raining for the past week, temperature is still 24, 25. So it's not bad. Not ideal, but not bad. Okay, now it's not the next day, it's probably the next week. I had to wait, as you can clearly tell, it's super sunny outside. And uh, early start of the video, you'll notice that it was rainy and I was talking about like a couple of weeks of rain. So I had to, plus because of my injury, I had to just take some time off. Paint is complete, uh, uh, base coat and clear coat. Uh, the results. You'll be to the judge of it, but so far I'm really stoked and really happy. Look at it. This is the front grill. Paint is complete. I maintained this one black and this one is all painted. And you see it's all clean. These are the front hood uh, scoops and grill and they're all perfect. Come over here to the front bumper. Painted, shiny, beautiful. These are the areas that I decided to maintain them and keep them black. See, I even maintained the same line, the same OEM line that they had before. So it's exactly the same. I basically just masked around it and that's about it. So now it does look perfect. As if this is the factory paint. Now, few things that you just need to know because I didn't fix those little things now I talked to you guys earlier about filler for these areas I figured ah too much of a drama I'm not gonna do it plus we will have a lip that's gonna sit over here so that's gonna cover up pretty much all these areas so I decided you know what I'm just gonna leave it as is granted it does need a uh, paint correction which means we're talking about uh, buffing cutting compound and such but I'm not gonna do that yet. The plan is we need to assemble the front end complete. So we need to assemble the bumper with all the lights and everything. We need to install those on the car because the car is due for its own registration and for me to register the car 
it needs to look drivable basically because I need to drive it to my mechanic for my mechanic to sign it off. Once they sign it off, then at that point I can carry on with my repair. Because you see, even this one, I haven't even correct the paint yet. It's still the original paint that we painted without anything. Now granted, I have an idea if I have enough time, I'll uh, wet sand this area and wet sand this area and reapply proper paint and proper everything in order to have all these uh, putty marks, if you must, uh, sorted out. So, until then, this is what we need to do. We need to put the scoop, which sits over here, the vents, they sit over here, and of course, the bumper. To put the bumper, I need to ensure also I've got all the lights in. Yep, we've got our job cut out for us. And even the cowl, I'm gonna put the cowl with the mirror and everything, with the wipers and everything. Why? Because this is the whole thing, is a front assembly, so I figured might as well just do it all together, because I don't need to paint this area per se. All the paint will be basically from this side back. See? Smooth. Perfect. I just need to paint it. Not now, but yeah, you got the point. All right, let's carry on with putting the miscellaneous, the little things. You see, you've got the washer, water sprayer thingy. So I just need to put that in. Uh, I need to put the, you know what I'm talking about, okay? So I need to put those in in order to get the uh, hood ready for installing those pieces first. Cool. Status update. As you can clearly tell, I put the hood liner. I put the rubber thingy, rubber seal on both sides. And if you look at it from this side, there you go. What a gorgeous looking contrast. Now, I've noticed one thing. This scoop is not actually the original one because you can see there's some weird spaces in each side so obviously this is a makeshift one it's not the original one however if it fits it sits let me just adjust this one for you so that you can have a look at it and see how it fits not bad huh not bad at all yep it does look mean and aggressive Anyways, carry on, we need to assemble the remaining. Just quickly check it out. I even painted this one black. It used to be orange, which was ugly and faded, so I just painted it black. I figured black might be actually a better one. Put the blinker, put this one, put this. Hood cover, the fog cover. Even this one. And I've installed it with the self-tapping uh, screws, so it's not going anywhere. Wow! Now I just need to put the car inside because it's too sunny outside and hopefully I can install this one. A few moments later. can clearly tell if you look at it towards the end nothing has changed but if you move over here you start looking and start seeing something uh, you can clearly tell that the hood is not latched so that's all right because this one the grill is not properly installed I just mock fitted it over the head just so that I can have a look at it check even the grill the bumper is not going anywhere and mind you, I didn't even tight it from these. It's a nut tight. Which is just basically a screw. And you're good to go. Vent is perfect. This is not the original one. I'm gonna have to start chasing for the original one. Because this one is troubling me. But as for the paint, as for everything. Good God, it just looks beautiful. Look how mean. Wow. You know what? This is how a Subaru should look. Can you see the red? Fog light. Wow. So guys, 
It was a busy day for a Sunday. I was hoping to get it all done and faster and earlier so that I can upload the video for you, but that's not the case. I don't think it's gonna happen today. But I think we've done a pretty good job. We did a pretty good job. And on a separate note, you can see that I shaved and the injury's almost gone. My hands are dirty though, so yeah. Anyways, if you like what you see, please consider uh, subscribing. And you take care of yourself until I see you next time, okay? Yeah.